Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has finally decided to start rolling out Microsoft Edge version 116, which is now our current stable release. And 116 should have been rolled out late last week, um, according to the release schedule, but nonetheless, better late than never. And Microsoft pushed out uh, version 116 late yesterday in my region on the 21st of August. Now, as always, to double check, we have this latest update. We head to our main menu, help and feedback about Microsoft Edge. And the latest version and build has now been bumped up to version 116.0.1938.54. And if you're not seeing the update as yet, it will be rolling out progressively over one or more days, according to Microsoft. Now, first of all, um, version 116 fixes various bugs and performance issues. So once again, Microsoft has pushed out a maintenance update with this latest stable release. So um, various bugs and performance issues have been addressed. Microsoft, Microsoft doesn't give us any information as to what bugs and performance issues have been addressed. But nonetheless, hopefully, if you have experienced any glitches or problems in the browser, this update will patch those issues. Now, over and above the uh, bug fixes that have rolled out, we get the security fixes that have rolled out. And first of all, we get two edge browser-specific security fixes that have been made available. And then the remaining 21 uh, security fixes that have rolled out are for the Chromium open source project, which the browser is based on. And out of those 21 Chromium-based security fixes that have been made available, we get eight high-risk vulnerabilities that have been patched. And high-risk flaws are your second highest after critical. So this is an important Chromium-based security update that is rolling out. Now, those high-risk vulnerabilities are mainly your common exploits in the Chromium-based web browsers, like your use after free vulnerabilities, your type confusion in the V8 JavaScript engine. But nonetheless, two edge-specific security fixes, 21 are also rolling out for the open source Chromium-based project, which the browser is based on. Now, with all of the bug fixes and security fixes out of the way, um, version 116 is rolling out with two official new features, according to the release notes. Now, the first new feature is mainly going to be uh, of interest to your enterprises and corporations. But basically, as I've posted previously, um, version 116 now officially includes Microsoft Edge for business. Now, this is not a, another new browser you have to download or anything like that. Um, it's rolling out for um, Microsoft Entra accounts. So you have to be using an Entra account, which was previously known as Azure Active Directory. And Microsoft Edge for Business is available with improved management options and the ability to use personal and business browsing modes. So you're basically just switching between two modes. And I have posted on Edge for Business just a couple of days ago, and I'll leave that video down below because it will provide you with a lot more information if you are affected. And um, basically, at the end of the day, it separates your work and your personal browsing. So Edge for Business now officially rolling out um, with version 116. Now, the second official new feature um, is an option that has been coming and going, but now is officially rolling out for Windows 10 users, only for Windows 10 users, and it's the new option to attach the Edge sidebar to the Windows desktop. Now, obviously, I'm uh, recording this video on Windows 11, but nonetheless, I have taken a couple of screenshots from a video I did post previously, which I'll leave down below, and uh, um, just to give you a general idea, um, if you are still running Windows 10 and obviously are using Microsoft Edge. Now, uh, detach uh, from Edge um, to attach the Edge sidebar to your Windows 10's desktop. If we just zoom in here, of the, just looking at a couple of screenshots, here we can see the detach from Edge button. So if you click on that and we head to the next screenshot, you can see it detaches uh, the browser from the Edge sidebar. And um, if we head to the next screenshot, just to give you an idea, there we go. You see, it's basically a widget um, that is attached to the side, the edge sidebar to the side of your desktop, very similar to the charms bar that originally rolled out with uh, uh, Windows 8 back in the day. And the reason this is rolling out, um, that I would suggest this is rolling out only for Windows 10 users, is because soon Windows 11 with the 23H2 feature update is going to be getting the Windows Copilot, which is also going to be basically a, a similar um, styled widget that's going to be placed on the desktop 
of Windows 11 as a web container. And because obviously Windows 10 is not going to be getting Copilot, I think that's the reason Microsoft has only rolled out uh, the new detached from edge where you place the sidebar to the right of your desktop for Windows 10 users to kind of fill that gap um, because obviously Copilot is rolling out for Windows 11 shortly. And if we head to the next screenshot, there we go. You can activate Bing from the sidebar. So basically, it's a widget that you can get access to all your sidebar features from the convenience of your Windows 10 desktop. And if you want to place everything back, if we zoom in here, you can see you click the little X button right at the bottom of the sidebar, attach to Edge, and that will place everything back to normal and will attach the browser back and everything will be uh, reattached and will be looking like it currently does uh, back over on Windows 11. So option to attach the Edge sidebar to the Windows desktop now rolling out only for Windows 10 users, but go check that video out if you want more info. Now those are the official new features, but I did notice one change that is only rolling out for Windows 11 users, which seems to be on a controlled rollout. So for this, we're going to just head over back to our main menu, click on Settings, head over to Appearance, and if we scroll down now, this is part of the Project Phoenix Visual Redesign. Show Profile Type in the Profile button. So obviously, when you have this toggled on, it will show your profile uh, type as it says in the Profile button. And if it's toggled off, obviously that will not be the case. And this is actually, as mentioned, part of the Project Phoenix visual redesign where Microsoft is trying to make um, the Edge browser match the look and feel of Windows 11. So that's an unofficial new setting that I did notice after upgrading to version 116. And guys, that's more or less what's new uh, in version 116. Uh, we also get one new policy and we also have an obsolete policy. But nonetheless, those two new official features that one unofficial, one unofficial new feature um, and those security updates and bug fixes rolling out with Edge version 116. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.